गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग टर्न टर्न ऑन योर कैमरास फॉर अ बिट गुड इवनिंग या श्योर श्योर गुड इवनिंग ऑल राइट सो कांग्रेचुलेशंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू हैव मैनेज्ड टू क्लियर द फर्स्ट राउंड व्हिच इज क्वाइट टफ इट इज नॉट इजी टू क्लियर द डिक्टेट मेंस एट एन आईडी i think uh, if you are looking at the statistics uh, probably only about 0.02% of the students who attempted clear it okay and uh, here at uh, afd we have had a pretty good result this year uh, we had about 30 to 35% of our students clearing which is uh, quite good okay now um, so now what is what is uh, you know out there for you so now your chances of success is 3 uh, is to 1 so they have virtually they are virtually calling three times the number of uh, seats students three times the number of seats for the second round okay so you have to be amongst the one and three who is selected so this session is just to give you a brief orientation about uh, how things are so these are the seats i think most of you must have already gone through the uh, brochure so these are the seats which are available ahmedabad has 125 seats which are um, based on this written test and the studio test and 19 foreign nationals or super numerary seats that is seats which are over and above the 125 so uh, at undergraduate level though you are not required to choose your specialization right now uh but uh, you will actually be choosing it after your foundation year so when you do choose these are the options you will get ceramic and glass design will have 13 seats furniture and interior will have 13 seats product design will have 19 animation film design will have 19 exhibition design will have 13 seats film and video 13 seats graphic design 19 seats and textile design 19 seats so these are the disciplines which they will offer you after your foundation Vijayawada, Rohtak, and Jorat have seventy-five uh, seats each. They don't have any supernumerary seats, and they will offer you communication design, industrial design, textile, and apparel design. These three specializations. Bhopal has seventy-five plus eleven supernumerary seats, and they are offering you again communication design, industrial design, and textile design specializations. Okay, so if you want to get into say exhibition design or animation design. Uh, or ceramic and glass design you uh, as a specialization you should aim at ahmedabad but it is not like you won't be taught animation design if you go to vijayawada or rohtak a uh, communication design uh, course will have animation also as a part of uh, as a component of the course or exhibition design will also be part of the communication design course film and video will also be part of the communication design course graphic design also will be part of the communication design course so it's not like you're missing out on anything but if you want you know detailed specialization that is only available in the ahmedabad campus now this is the key <laughs> okay so this is how it is going to go uh, these are the category wise reservation of seats at ahmedabad all right so in ahmedabad uh, sorry it, it, at nid so in ahmedabad you have 125 seats out of which 13 belong to the general ews economically weaker section that is 10% uh, obc is 27% that is 34 seats scheduled caste is 15% that is 19 seats and scheduled tribe is 7.5% which is 9 seats which makes the general category seats to be 50 okay so uh, you should check where you stand and you can figure out how many seats you have at ahmedabad how many seats you have at andhra pradesh haryana madhya pradesh and assam so all the uh, five centers the break up is over here now if you total it up you can see that there are 170 seats in the general category okay now if you are in the general category um in 2020 the cut off the last Uh, last rank which got through which actually got a final seat at nid was 290 i'm talking about the rank after the dat mains and the dat prelims and the dat mains and in 2000 2021 it was 260 okay so if now right now your rank is some 300 or 400 or 500 don't worry you can still catch up there is in the obc category the last rank in 2020 was 140 and 2021 was 136 
okay the total number of seats is 114 so you can see only about say 20 20 uh, odd seats extra 20 like if they're 114 only about uh, most of the people are basically taking up the seat in the obc category however in the general category almost 100 people have not taken up the seat that is why the rank has gone up to 260 okay so this is how it is i think all of you have got a fairly good idea any questions on this Yes, yeah, yeah, good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, can you please repeat yes. this thing, ma'am? I couldn't understand the last part uh, which you explained, saying that regarding in the general category, uh, what you mentioned about the seats, ma'am. Okay, so uh, if all the NID centers put together, there are 170 seats for the general category. However, not everybody, uh, like they start allotting the seats from, from the first rank onwards, right? So by the time it reached 170, the seats didn't get filled up because many of them did not take up the seat okay maybe they got into iits or architecture or somewhere else and or, or they were not eligible yeah and also, so also ways, yeah uh, sorry to interrupt you ma'am is also because probably they didn't get the specialization that they were looking for is that also one reason no no at undergraduate level the specialization is not determined at this stage the only reason they would not have taken up the seat is because they have either they don't have the funds to finance because nid is not as cheap as other government colleges or they got into IITs, which is cheaper, or uh, they have got into engineering or uh, any other discipline, any other, they have decided to do something else, or for various reasons, you know. Right. People do write the exam, but then for various reasons, sometimes they, they are not able to take up the seat. So and people will also. drop out. Sometimes they get admission into NIFT. Yeah, NIFT also. Just in fashion design and accessory design and other streams. Yes. So, uh, so almost 100 people here, you can see on an average, 100 to 110, 120 people have been uh, not taking up the seat. So the rank went up to about the last rank, the last person who got through, uh, got a seat confirmation was uh, 260 rank holder uh, in 2021. Okay. And similarly for OBC, it was 136. I did not put the other categories uh, because there are very few students uh, belonging. It's mostly OBC and general students who... So I hope that is clear. Yes, ma'am. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So now this is um, a tentative uh, breakup. So uh, in 2019, um, that is just before COVID started, NID uh, breakup of the DAT prelims and DAT mains, the weightage given was 30% uh, 30, 30 weightage to um, DAT Okay, no, let me start from uh, 2018. In 2018, that prelims used to have 70% weightage. That is the main exam which you have already finished used to have 70% weightage. And that means that the studio test would have only 30% weightage. But in 2019, just before the year before COVID, they uh, flipped it. So that prelims had only 30% weightage that year and that means had 70% weightage. Okay, so more importance was for the studio test in 2019. Then in 2020, COVID happened and studio tests could not be conducted. So uh, they went back to the old system. So in 2020, again, that prelims was 70% and that means was 30%. Okay, this year, they have not yet announced what is the weightage going to be. So uh, we don't know, but we are assuming that it is going to be 70% weightage for the studio test and only 30% for the prelims this year. Okay, that is what we are assuming, but we do not know. Uh, of course, the weightage can change also. It can become 40 and 60 also. So it has not yet been announced. So we have to wait for this announcement. Whatever it is, we have to do our best in each of these exams. Um, now, okay, fine. Now this is, let's skip this one. Yeah, this one. So here, if you notice that prelims, uh, why that means has become very important at this stage is, if suppose uh, the division of uh, weightage for that prelims is 70 and that means is 30. Okay, if it is like that, then take a case scenario where somebody has got a 70 marks, 70 on 100 in the exam. You take 70% of that, you will get a 49. Okay, for the that prelims. So suppose say uh, Anand has scored, scored 70 on 100. So his actual score out of 70, because this, that prelims has only 70% weightage, would be 49. 
Now, there are different scenarios where he could have got a 30 on 100 in the DAT mains, in which case his marks, which is going to be added up to the 49, would be only 9, which is because this 30 has only 30% weightage. Or second scenario, Anand got 80 on 100, which means he gets 24 marks to be added up to his 49. Third scenario, he gets a 60. That means 18 marks get added up to this 49. So you see what happens in Anand has got 70 marks in round one. And if he scores 30 on 100, he will get a total of 58. If he scores uh, 80 on 100, he gets a total of 73. If he scores 60 on 100, he gets a total of 67. Okay. Now you take another student who has got 50 on 100 in the first round. That student's marks, if you take 70%, would be 35. Now, this same student, if they scored an 80 on 100, they add up another 24 marks and their score becomes 59. If they score 60, they add up 18 marks and their score becomes 53. But if suppose, see, the person who got 50 on 100 in the first round does very well in the second round, they can actually catch up with somebody who has done badly in the second round, even though they did very well in the first round. So second round can be a game changer. Now, more so, when the division is reversed, that is, if prelims is only 30% weightage and that means is 70% weightage, then that means is definitely a game changer. You look at the same scenario, a person with 70, 70 on 100 uh, would only get 21 marks in the first round because it has only 30% weightage. And suppose that person gets a 30 on 100 in the second round, again, another 21. Total adds up to 42. Same person gets an 80 does very well in second round he can add a 48 to his score by taking it up to 69 and similarly 60 if he does average say 60 he gets a 42 and his score adds up to 63 now somebody who has not, not done very well in that prelims that is got only a 50 on 100 their marks if you take 30 person would be 15 and if this person does very well in that means they can add up another 48 and take up their score to 63 so you see 63 and 42, you have overtaken the person who got 70 in that prelims. And here again, if they do average also, they're getting a 57. So you're still overtaking somebody who has done poorly in that means. So whether you have done well or whether you have done badly, that means becomes a game changer. You can actually change your score based on that. Okay, so this slide is only to show you various case scenarios. Any doubts here? No, ma'am. All right. Okay. So now, uh, now these are the uh, minimum qualifying marks. When they're talking about qualifying marks, that means sometimes, you know, uh, it so happens that you get call letters from Joharat and ID even in the month of July, August, first week. Uh, what happens is some students will take admission, but then they will withdraw admission after they have taken it, after they have paid the initial amount also. In such cases, remaining students who are next in the wait list are called. Okay. And, um, but only those students will be, will have any chance of being called who have a minimum of 50 on 100. Okay. That is the, cut, uh, that is the minimum qualifying criteria. So for EWS and open category, you need a minimum of 50 marks and OBCL, SC, ST and PWD need a uh, minimum of 45 and 40 respectively. So this is a chart for that. So I hope you understand this. This is for nothing to, this is only uh, like, you know, there is a small chance of being called if you are above this minimum qualifying criteria. Okay. So the admission process can extend. They do close it, but sometimes you do get call letters even after it has been closed. Uh, any of you want to know the fee structure at NID? Yes, ma'am, if you can kindly. Yeah, Simi. Simi, you're mute. Fee structure, there is a small increment from this fees. In the first semester, the tuition fee is 171,500. Only tuition fee, excluding other expenses like uh, student activity, lab expenses, other things. 
and, and their hostel charges are only 15,000 and in total in Ahmedabad 1,87,900 almost 1,88,000 for first semester and uh, uh, 1,86,500 for the second semester including hostel fees ma'am yes including hostel fee yes mess charges are not added host accommodation okay tuition fee other expenses and accommodation mess charges will be informed uh, in the beginning of academic year not now so in the four years uh, at nid you would land up paying something like 14 lakhs right am i right simi So the total four years would cost you roughly 14 lakhs inclusive of hostel. Food and other expenses will be over and above. Yes, yes. yes. NRI fee will be different. That will be higher. For, that means NRI means overseas candidate fee will be different from this. Almost uh, 7,000 US dollars per annum. I think two, three students are here. They are played in overseas category. Their fee structure will be different. Uh, Sydney, this is Rotak. Fees at Rotak. Other centers, fee, other centers, all other centers, the fee structure will be around two lakhs per annum. So it's quite uh, quite a lot of difference, right? The total amount comes to around ten lakhs. Two lakhs in Vijayawada, it is two point two lakhs. Uh, between two and two point five lakhs in other centers. Just, uh, so the fees is different for different centers. Yeah, Ahmedabad and other centers. What about scholarships, Yeah, scholarship for financially weak students, they have to pay the first semester fee and join the uh, college first. And then you can easily apply to the financial assistance cell and uh, you need to uh, submit the uh, required document to prove your uh, annual income is less than uh, 5 lakhs, uh, 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs. They have a slab system and you will get scholarships accordingly up to 100%, 75 to 100%. If your annual income is less than 4 lakhs, uh, you will get 50% uh, scholarship. If it's less than 2.5 lakhs, that will be around 75% uh, discount. And if it's less than 1 lakh annual income, you will get 100% scholarships. Any doubts regarding fee structure? No, ma'am. Okay, so coming to, coming to the main main thing, that is, what is the studio test like? So I'm going to just briefly describe this to you. Um, it, this is the 2000, I've just put up the actual studio test uh, papers here. Um, so uh, you have to go to the respective uh, NID. Um, they would tell you which, which campus you need to go, okay, for your um, uh, studio test. They would also ask you preference of campus. All right, uh, Simi, can you explain that? Yeah, yeah, exam center. Definitely, they put a link. Uh, they have not updated anything yet. That if, within 10 to 15 days, they put a link to select your exam center. Exams will happen in all seven NID campus, including two PG campus. They have five UG and uh, two PG campuses. And uh, you can choose any of the exam centers. There is a seat limit in each center, like 250 or 300. But you need to uh, register at the earliest to get the nearest center. So irrespective of uh, what preference they're going to give, finally, uh, like when the counseling happens, you have to give a preference of centers. Irrespective of that, you can go and attend the studio test in any That's center. That's totally right? different. This is a, just the exam center. You can write anywhere. Yeah? Any so whichever camp. is closest to you, whichever is most convenient, you can opt for that exam center. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, everybody knows that the uh, studio test is going to happen in the third week of June. So maybe around 19th, 20th, 21st, you might have different dates also uh, for at different centers. Okay, so now this is the 2019 studio test paper. So what happens is this is spread over a period of two days. Okay, on day one, some of the activities happens and on day two, other activities will happen. So each of these uh, tests is probably say about one hour, 15 minutes, 45 minutes. So the duration of these tests does not exceed one hour usually. 
So now in 2019, this is the year before COVID. Uh, before, no, this should have been 2018, if I'm not mistaken. Anyhow, so the first question was a 3D model. So you were asked to make a 3D model of a shoe in the scale one is to one for use on beach or to walk on sand. Okay, so um, you must have all at some point of time walked on sand and notice that it is not as easy to walk on sand as it is to walk on normal land. So what variations would you make to a shoe uh, in order to make it easier to walk on sand? So you had to brainstorm the idea and you had to come up with a model which was in the one is to one scale. That is a wearable, that is the actual size model. The, the size of your model should be the size of a normal feet, an average feet. Okay. Now, uh, here, again, the, your idea may not be a perfect solution to the problem. It may not be possible. I mean, if, if there was a solution to this problem, all of us would have one extra pair of shoes in our uh, shoe rack for wearing on beach, right? But we don't. We just usually wear the same shoes which we wear outside uh, normally. So which means that this is not a problem which has had a solution so far. It's not an easy solution, but what are they looking for? I mean, they're not expecting you to solve the problem right there in the exam in one hour. What they're looking for is how you think, okay? What is the process? What? How did you brainstorm? How did you get, what correlations did you make in your head? Uh, so you, if you get a piece of paper on which you can ideate, leave that piece of paper also along with your model, okay? And uh, then they're also looking at your construction skills. How well are you able to construct? Are you able to understand one is to one scale? and things like that. Would you make a totally closed shoe for the beach? Would you make an open shoe for the beach? And why, if at all you're making uh, a closed shoe, why is it a closed shoe? If it's an open shoe, why is it a open shoe? If it has heels, why does it have heels? If it does not have, why does it not have? And how original or how different you think? Just because nobody wears heels on the beach doesn't mean that uh, heels has to be totally, maybe, maybe you can have and you have a, a valid reason for it. Okay, maybe you have some other kind of uh, base to it, which is uh, maybe you take inspiration from other vehicles like, you know, those, uh, what are they known as tanks, which have got this conveyor belt kind of a thing going around the wheel. So those can travel on all surfaces, maybe use inspiration from that, maybe you take inspiration from small insects on which skittle on the sand and see how they do it and figure out. Uh, you know, so the, it is the idea which for which they are marking you and your workmanship, how well you have made the shoe. Second is an audio visual test, which is usually 15 minutes where the students are sometimes uh, made to listen to certain audio clips and asked to identify the source of the audio. Or they might be even made to see certain movie clips and ask questions on that. There was a year when they were asked, uh, they were shown a Charlie Chaplin movie uh, movie clip and they were asked to identify or count or uh, tell the number of people who had a mustache in that clip. So it is your sense of observation and associations. Next is a sketching question, okay, where you had to make a poster according to the story given. So there was a story here and you had to make a poster. We have done these kind of stuff in the class quite often. And this is done on an A3 size paper, not on A4, but A3. Okay, and there is no color, so you just have to sketch it. Then there was this interpersonal skill. Now, interpersonal skill is your ability to interact with other people other than yourself. So this is a group activity. And in this group activity, there were about 15, 12 to 15 students lined up. Okay, and a person at one end was given an object, something like a cough syrup bottle or a steel scale or a tape. It was different for different groups. And each student had to start a story with that material. The next person was supposed to, and then suppose you, you have a cough syrup bottle and you start a story. Uh, I drank the entire cough syrup, uh, entire bottle of cough, cough syrup one night. You start the story like that. The next person has to continue that story. So the bottle goes around and each person has to continue the story. And it went around, I think, two, twice. And by the end of it, you have, you're supposed to wind up the story. So they are observing how you interact, how, what are they looking for? How carefully you're listening to the story so far said. Okay. Are you missing out? Are you catching up on maybe something which you are maybe number five and you caught up on something which number two said and, as, and linked it with what number four said and then you are continuing it or you are just ignoring what everybody else said and taking it in a different track or sometimes the story is getting boring. You add spice to it. So what is your role in that? Are you able to think on your feet? Are you able to understand what other people are saying and connect 
everything together and make a coherent story okay or continue uh, coherently to the uh, give a continuation to the story so that is what interpersonal skill that is one kind of test we have had only one interpersonal skill test so far at in the nid studio test so we have only one example but it could be any other activity also it need not be it could be a drawing activity it may not necessarily be a speaking activity so we don't know it could be an acting activity we don't know what it is going to be next time then of course there is the small intrapersonal skill so uh, till before this uh, before 2019 uh, nid was having uh, interviews and portfolio round now they have scrapped that i think maybe because the numbers are becoming bigger and uh, they have st started something called the interpersonal skill where you are given 15 minutes to describe yourself on a given a3 paper so you can describe yourself not just in words but also you can draw so this is something you can be prepared beforehand when you go in so your drawing or that a on that a3 paper when they look at it they should understand who you are what you are okay so how you describe yourself so this was what was given the year before COVID. this is this is the exam where there was 70 percent weightage for the uh, dat mains this was in 2018 the uh, year before the year before COVID. so uh, here it's slightly different this was a year when they had a portfolio and interview round as well so here there was a one hour question uh, which was audio visual and you can see there were so many audio visual questions there was audio clips there were a mystery bag where you put in your hand inside a bag and feel the objects and then the draw then draw the objects from what you imagine that object to be then there were observation and creativity questions where you have a shown pictures printed on a sheet and then you have to you're given only five minutes to look at them and then you have to draw those five images without looking from memory on another sheet of paper then you have to also connect these five objects and create a story like uh, you know like a storyboard you in five frames you have to come up with a storyboard for these five objects there was of course drawing question where you were supposed to draw a vegetable seller with five types of fruits five types of vegetables arranged on a four layer stand and he had a weighing scale in front of him and a customer who's having a one foot wide bag in his hand is standing in front of him so this is your ability to pay attention and your understanding of proportions instead of five types of fruits did you draw only four uh, did you did you mistake a tomato for a fruit and then you know, mixed it up or instead of a four layer stand you have only a two layered stand or you have a you have a cart it's a very common mistake you know it's very clearly said four layered stand but many students will just make a cart they just don't pay attention to what is there in the question uh, there's a weighing scale in front of him not behind him in front of him customer who has a one foot wide bag so a one foot wide bag in his hand how big is the bag going to be what is it what is the shape going to be like so you have to pay attention to all those little details then model making so this is like the nift exam but uh, if the NID model making is a little tricky, usually it will have some sort of a um, mechanism involved. Like in this case, it was a toy that can move and make sounds. Okay, so take inspiration from your uh, Narden toys, you know, the ones which your grandfather used to make for you. Uh, cars which, would, uh, which you can pull and take and it will rattle. You know, little things. You can take inspiration from that but and with whatever materials available, you create something like that. So it is workmanship mostly and your ability to make something which actually functions or has that small mechanism okay so this i think yeah and then there was the interview and the portfolio round so this is how the last uh, two years before COVID, uh the studio test was during COVID, it was very no, different there were no 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 interview ma'am in 18. No, there was uh, Simi. Uh, it was only 19 that they scrapped the interview when they replaced no, no. it with the inter intrapersonal. Yeah, intrapersonal. In but in 18, they, they did not conduct interview for undergraduate students. So they did not have inter intrapersonal uh, test also? Yes. They did not. Okay, I don't. Okay, maybe uh, Simi has got great memory. I don't. So <laughs> she must okay. be right. Okay, now during COVID, it was very different. This is uh, this is not going to happen this time, but I'm just keeping you aware. During COVID, what happened is they give you tasks which you had to do and uh, submit, and then you had an online uh, interview. So they had to do a theme poster. 
uh, like depict through drawings an event that inspired and motivated you in your life. So you had time to do this. You had to do it at home and then upload it and draw the situation and experience of waiting in a line. So these were the two options. So you had to draw a poster. Okay. And then besides this, you had to upload sample of your work and portfolio. So this is how it was. Uh, and then you had to write a statement of purpose also. Okay. So that's how the exam was in, uh, in, in during COVID. So it was a task task which you had to submit and uh, you had to do your uh, statement of purpose purpose and portfolio yeah so i think uh, this is what we wanted to tell you and um, you have any questions we are planning to have the studio test classes over the weekends because it's very tricky this year cbc students have got exams uh, state board so students will finish i think by may first week I see, I see, ICSE students have already finished, then there are some who have dropped a year. So the problem is only with the CBSE students. So what we are trying to do here is have the classes on Saturdays and Sundays so that uh, you guys can come. Okay. And we'll have the class from say uh, 2 to 5. Am I right, Simi? 2 to 5 or 3 to 5? 3 to 5, I think. Yeah. 3 to 5. And uh, come here for two hours. And those of you who are from faraway places, if you want to stay in the hostel, you can stay in the hostel. And besides Saturday and Sunday, you can come on uh, Thursday and Friday for practice sessions without faculty. But you can, our facilities will be open to you. So uh, that's how we are planning. And this will go on till Jan June 18th, I think, that particular weekend. That's the tentative plan. Um, yeah. So any questions, anybody? or any suggestions ma'am when will it start the classes 14 may 14 uh, state syllabus students they have they're having practicals till uh, 12th may i go to tangible today so we will start from 14th will there be online class offline well, yeah yeah very difficult Aishwarya. online class very difficult at this stage because uh, if it was the theme-based thing, we could have done it. Where do you stay, Aishwarya? Yeah, I'm nearby. I'm in Arnabha. Yeah, so who I'm asked for offline class? Online. No, who asked for online class? Sorry. Me, ma'am. Me means? Me, uh, I, 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 oh, sorry. It. Aishwarya only. Okay. Aishwarya. But you can come, right? Uh, you can come. Ah, yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. We will try, but we are not promising right now. We'll try to probably record the class and uh, or you know live live telecast it, but we will try. We are not sure we can do it. Yes, ma'am. One one more question on this, ma'am. My, my son Siddhant is in a boarding school, ma'am, in Coimbatore, oh. and he is, <laughs> and uh, he is giving his boards and his uh, last exam gets over on the thirteenth of June. Okay. So I'm just yeah. wondering. He I'm can just... come to the center. Uh, we have uh, uh, other some 14th. additional sessions after 13th June. We already done. Yeah. June, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, yeah. 18th. I think we will have continuous sessions uh, in in the center. Yeah. Okay, but I'm just wondering, ma'am. I mean, with the CBSE students' uh, exams still going on in June, I mean, uh, having this. Uh, uh, studio test in the third week of June. I, I don't know if we're too close no, to no, the no, previous no. board. Yeah, but uh, NID has solved. Yeah, most probably the exams will be after June. Yeah, let's wait for the dates. It does yeah. not. NID, uh, NID has made sure that the ex they cannot wait any longer, you know. <laughs> so they have said that they will wait for the CBSE board exams to get over. Different uh, no commerce. I think a few students there at last exam was on 50. They said it's on 15th of June. So definitely yeah, last is 15th. Yeah. They won't conduct the exams before 20th. Okay. So everybody will get about a week's break uh, before the studio. That, uh, exactly. If it's not possible to come to the central weekends, you can come after your exams and stay here for uh, five, six days. Continuous. Okay, fine. Fine, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have exams till May 27th. So you will have to see if you can come on weekends. Yes. Otherwise, after May 27th, you can come and... Thursday, uh, Friday also you can come. Thursday, Friday and Saturday yeah. Sunday. You can come. Thursday, Friday, extra days you stay and you can go practice. Okay, okay. okay ma'am. Yeah. 
so mostly we will be doing 3d model building in the first few uh, first few days so that is something which you can catch up on intrapersonal skills uh, group activity we'll do in the final days okay ma'am ma'am Mm -hmm. Will there be online sessions? Please, please, please. We are trying, we are trying, but I am not. I cannot promise right now. There are so many activities in NAD. Not only model making sessions. In NAD, there are so many activities. You saw the eighteen and nineteen questions. No? Different, no? You need to practice everything. Yeah. We'll try. We'll we'll try. We'll try. We'll do one thing. We can uh, post all the questions we are doing in the class on Google Classroom, yes. and uh, we will see. Uh, we have to work it out. Yeah. Okay. You already completed your third standard, no? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's better to come here and do it, uh, Chaitra, for this one if you can. Because uh, it, this has got group, uh, a group activity as well, and because of COVID, stays there. Right? I mean, I have uh, to come. How far from. are you? How no, far? How, where do you Where do you stay? Where do you come from? I'm um, Patanandita. Patanandita. Yeah, you can come and stay. You don't have any relatives here. No. Uh, okay. Talk to your parents and see. Maybe they can figure out something. Otherwise, there are hostels here where you can stay close by. Yeah, I did last time in a, a for uh, dinner, but I don't think yes. I can do that this time. Yeah. Okay. See, if you can, you come for the last few days. That is after fifteen. No, those continuous sessions. After yeah. CBSE exams, we are giving continuous sessions. Yeah, because that is when we will do the interpersonal and, and intrapersonal. So do that, or uh, the yeah, that is something. Okay, maybe we can do it um, online, but I can't promise right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Any doubts? Any other questions anybody has? Um. Ma'am, I'm from Chennai. Uh, so after my boards, if I come to uh, offline classes there, uh, will will they also be covering the modeling and stuff, or will it only be the intrapersonal skills? No, we can do the model. Uh, if you set extra time during those uh, six seven days, we can do it. Okay. And uh, we want to ask you a suggestion. Actually, would everybody prefer it like, if we just did it uh, after fifteenth? That is um, the last board exam. I think gets over on fifteenth um, of June. So if we do sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, but then we get only about four days. That will be difficult. Yeah. Okay. No, no. Scrap that question. So four days, and uh, if suppose you know, it depends on what the studio test dates are. Actually, if they move it to say twenty seventh or twenty eighth, then we will just have it on those days after board exams. Okay. Yeah. We we'll wait for them to declare the dates till uh, to finalize on our schedule. Yes, ma'am. You can go ahead. Okay, so that is all uh, we had to talk about. Uh, just wanted to give you a heads up on what the exam is all about, so that you are mentally prepared. and uh, you have to be prepared to do 3d model making audio visual sketching okay and some group activities observation so test. and you have to be prepared to yeah observation test and you have to be prepared to travel to the respective nid centers okay if you have any other queries you can ask now otherwise uh, um, what we'll do is we will uh, start a google classroom wherein we will give you some small activities which you can start doing those of you who are free can start doing that from monday or tuesday we will uh, put up a gcr classroom for this and there we will give you some activities so you can do that in your free time and upload it till the classes start yeah anand i am asked now uh, is there going to be class in next saturday and sunday that is may 7th and 8th no no we are uh, waiting for the state syllabus examination at least uh, what i think the last exam is on 12th of Me practical exams are happening, and uh, we are starting from fourteenth. Oh. 
we'll put up activities on gcr and you can start your practice okay in fact uh, this yeah for a, for example this 3d model make a shoe in in one is to one scale for you to use on beach and sand this would be one question which you can start working on okay and ideate and uh, just pick up any random material from around the house it is not necessary that you have to have these exact materials anything which you can get and assemble the shoe together and see what you can make out of it but the idea and the concept has to be clearly uh, explained so we'll post practice questions you uh, do that and uh, you upload it and we can give you feedback on the same yes ma'am ma'am another question ma'am so this uh, studio yes. test we also have an interview a personal interview no we are not expecting a personal interview this year because they scrapped it since 2018 so they have not been having uh, personal interviews but during covid they did have okay so and what it's like 2018 and, what, what, and 19 no, huh. yes ma'am please Sorry. continue 2018 and 19 there were no interviews and no portfolio rounds 2020 and 21 they had portfolio and uh, interview online because of covid so this year we are again uh, thinking that they are going to go back to the 2018 19 model they did not conduct any offline studio test last two years so they uh, are into a small interactive session and portfolio review okay ma'am so so when will these things become clear ma'am whether they are having in a uh, i mean a personal interview uh, exam center selection and uh, okay Right. Yeah, I think maybe by Monday or Tuesday they should post. Yeah, within ten days usually, because the students have to, uh, or uh, everyone has to uh, book your tickets and plan yeah. their travel, traveling because the exam centers find, are find different. No. Okay, and the exam centers will be the the, the will be the NID campuses, ma'am, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, fine. You will have to find accommodation there, though. But you can just book uh, in hotels close by for two days. Yes, fine. Only this year happened in between uh, board examinations, so in the area, so yeah, really board exams got delayed. Yeah. Only this year. Yes, ma'am, because of COVID, everything has got delayed. But anyway, now yeah. we have to face, yeah. we have to face, yeah. we have to deal with it. Yeah. So all the best to all of you. I'm sure all of you will do well, and uh, the GCR classroom schedule will be um, the link will be uh, given by Simi Ma'am, so you can contact her for that. So all the best for the board exams also. Ma'am, after the mains are uh, done, uh, normally how long does it take for them to publish the results? Simi, you want to answer that? It is two to three weeks because in phase two is the evaluation. No, they are already they are evaluating at the spot. But the minimum two okay. weeks is for tallying this one, the first round, second round, marks and other things. But uh, I think the results will be announced at the earliest this year because already delayed. No, they need to. Uh, Yes, ma'am. Uh, conduct the allotment session. Seat allotment session after that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Because because also um, there are students you know who already you know given entrance exam of other other uh, other colleges institutes. Some of them already got selected there and mm -hmm. have paid the initial fees and you know are, are still thinking. The class will start in July. <laughs> Most of the college will start their classes before NID results. Truly, ma'am. So this That's is really one of <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for your uh, for your feedback and uh, yeah. your presentation, ma'am. All right, then, everybody. If you have any more queries, you can always WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay, then. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.